We are going to begin with a very busy night for firefighters in Detroit. Uh, dozens of fire calls came in overnight, many of them apparently caused by either fireworks, we're told, or arson. One of the worst happened at a home on Spencer off of Van Dyke on Detroit's east side after a pole somehow caught fire, causing a huge mess. And now Detroit's Naya Harden is live on Detroit's east side right now. So what happened causing all of these fires, Naya? You know what? That is the big question. They are still trying to figure that out. As you can see uh, right now, they are very busy over here. Crews are still out here trying to clean up this mess, figure out how to get this all fixed. This happened earlier this morning, like you said, but right now DTE is saying that it was not their equipment that started this fire. They're saying that it was actually the Detroit Public Lighting Department's fault, and they are saying uh, that neighbors also have told us that this transformer that was on this pole had always been a concern. Homeowners are speaking out after a fire involving Detroit Public Lighting Department's equipment. We heard the fireworks and it was real loud and stuff. And you know, and then next day we know we see fire behind us and it was burning up the the wooden fence of ours, the man next door garage. Alice Peoples says she was in her bedroom near her backyard when she heard what sounded like fireworks. We better get out of here. And I thought it was going to be the garage because first it was the fence across there. And then next day, you know, it was spreading real fast. The man next door garage, my fence, his fence. And I thought it was going to be our garage and then our house. The fire burned down a garage, three cars, and somehow traveled next door through this power line. The lady who lives there wasn't home at the time. People says three years ago, the transformer on that pole caught fire. It was just a transformer on the pole right. that was burning and sparking fire and stuff. Others say they were concerned and reached out to public lighting. Now, the city says that there were no recent work orders that they had on this poll, but they're not letting us know if this was actually their fault or not. They told us that uh, it is still being investigated, and that's what they're sticking to. In the meantime, uh, you can see them out here right now still cleaning up. They said they have knocked down some of the trees, uh, but a lot of people here just want answers, and they want them soon. Nia Hardin, The Now Detroit. I'm sure they do, and hopefully they all had insurance so they can get yeah. their property fixed. Let's hope so now. Thanks so much. Again, the Detroit Fire Chief says the majority of last night's fire were either caused by suspected arson or were fireworks related somehow. But it's interesting to note we actually had fewer fires this year than last year. We also did some digging and found out from the Detroit Deputy Fire Commissioner there have been 51 fires since July 1st of this year. Yeah, that's down 43% compared to last year when there were 91 structure fires reported. All right, we want to